Okay, like I said before, all my videos are going to be shaky because I need to be doing this. I don't have a cameraman around me. And, uh, and I need to shoot it at the same time. Okay, here's a, here's a stroke gun. Okay, it says, sets the timing. Uh, what do you do with the stroke gun is you attach this thing right here to uh, number one wire. Okay, which one is number one? You look at the diagram right here and it shows you this one, number one right here. And you find the cylinder. You find the spark plug wire, you follow it back, and you clamp this thing on as close to the distributor as possible. Not, not really a big deal, but... Alright. Now, when it... Then you attach crocodile alligators to positive, and this one to a negative, you can pretty much attach it anywhere. No big deal. Okay? Now, let's see. so the positive, negative is attached. Now, when a car is running, okay, uh, you're going to do this in the dark because what you will need to do is on a crankshaft right here okay there are marks uh, for example what I'm looking at right now hold on, hold on. let me see if uh, you can see what I'm looking at right now is a mark for the top dead center and another notch is well, right here you can see right here the one that's kind of reddish is a notch for the five degrees before type uh, top dead center so basically when a car is running at the lowest rpm when you shine the strobe light on it the five degrees if your car is specified to uh, to be timed that way uh, sometimes it's five degrees before or some five degrees uh, after I suspect it's uh, usually is five degrees uh, before top dead, top dead center top dead center is basically this thing has the same uh, kind of marks in three places because one revolution of this thing is basically uh, uh, three cylinders fire. Second revolution, another three f fire. And here is the uh, here is how they fire. One, six, two, four, three, five. I think all of the cars fire the same uh, uh, same exact way. Okay, these are the uh, uh, cylinders. All right, so. It has it has three notches on it. They are the same, okay? The crankshaft. Then it has two more notches. One is at uh, five degree before top dead center, or five degrees after top dead center. Depends on the engine once again. I suspect it's five degrees before. Uh, and then it has a second notch that measures the advance of uh, the advance of the spark. Basically, it fires earlier uh, once the uh, RPMs increase. So you get yourself. A, I marked it with the red, so it's easier for me to read it. So basically. When, when a car is running, okay, you shine this thing on it. Once again, watch out for the blades. You shine this thing on, and that five degree before top dead center 
should meet up with this thing right here this notch on a on a fan okay it should be lined up when it's running at the idle speed then what you do is you increase the RPM okay and you measure measure the total advance total advance should not uh, should not go over the specified number in my engine it's 38 degrees okay so uh, somewhere in the middle before uh, before the, those three notches are pretty I put are pretty much the equal distance from each other so between this one notch and uh, uh, and the second uh, the piston notch top dead center for that piston there's gonna be another one somewhere in, in the middle so when you rev up the engine you should do it uh, approximately at 6000 rpm it's, it's kinda scary but uh, you definitely have to set it correctly to uh, uh, to a correct total advance okay when you rev up the engine this thing will s basically the line will start moving backwards that means the line will uh, as you as you look at it through the strobe light it will start uh, moving counterclockwise and it will start coming up on as you rev up the engine it will start coming up on the on a total advance so you have some you have somebody in the car running and uh, tell them to just uh, rev up by the way you should do this when the car is uh, warm uh, hot above 180 degrees 180 you rev it up once it reaches that maximum point that uh, second notch the 38 degree uh, total advanced notch okay it should be at 6000 rpm now if it goes over that means your your distributor is not set correctly then what you do is you unscrew this 12 millimeter bolt right here okay you see it moves up and down and you move it uh, depending on which way whether uh, you're advance you're advancing over or you are you're not advancing enough but uh, you should have a pretty good idea when it's a zero advance that means when a car is idle when it's running approximately at 1000 rpm uh, if you if 